earlier, we asked the question, what do you think a warrior looks like? And we had lots of different responses from you guys. But my question now is how often do we feel like some of those responses? How often do you feel brave, courageous, strong, or in fact, like a warrior at all? I expect most of you would say, not very often. And that's certainly how Gideon felt. In our story, we meet Gideon while he's threshing wheat in a wine press. This was a normal occurrence back then, like household chores for us. However, Gideon wasn't doing his, this job outside, which would have been the normal thing to do. Instead, he was inside, doing it in a wine press. Imagine trying to wash your car inside in the garage. I don't think it would work out very well. So why was Gideon doing an outside job indoors? The answer is because he was scared, so scared of the Midianites that he was hiding. He was afraid, he felt small, unimportant and full of fear. But nonetheless, God had a plan for this frightened man. God always has a plan, have you noticed that? Gideon would go on to do great things. He just didn't know it yet. And often that's the same for us. We just don't know what it is God wants us to do, yet. A crucial point in our story is when the angel of the Lord shows up to remind Gideon of some truths. Sometimes the truth can get so buried amongst the lies and untruths that bog us down that we forget who we are and most importantly, who's with us. So the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon and said, the Lord is with you. I think some of us need to hear that today, myself included. The Lord is with you. The reality though, is that it doesn't always feel like it, but that doesn't make it any less true. God is with us despite what we feel and what we go through. In fact, Gideon felt similarly. In verse 13, Gideon asks, if the Lord is with us, why has all of this happened to us? That might be a question for the adults to ponder. Anyway, the angel goes on, not only to declare to Gideon that the Lord is with you, but then adds on, mighty warrior. The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. We know that in no way did Gideon feel like a warrior at this point. He wasn't feeling at all equipped like we might picture a warrior to be. If we think back to some of the words we had on the screen earlier, strong, tall, powerful, brave, courageous, prepared. No, Gideon didn't feel any of these. Often what we think of ourselves and what we are capable of is so far from what God thinks of us that it's hard to see past what scares us. We tend to focus on what we are and not on who he is. When Gideon looked at himself, he saw a scared, unimportant weakling, the least of everyone in his family. When God looked at Gideon, he saw a mighty warrior, one who would lead his people. The key though, is that Gideon wouldn't do it alone. Gideon would be a mighty warrior, not in his own strength, because that was seriously lacking, but because God would be with him. Remember, the angel of the Lord said to Gideon, the Lord is with you. God has this knack of specialising in using those who think they are, are unable or unsuitable to do his work in this world and he has shown this countless times in the Bible. When we look at the stories of David, Esther, Joseph and Ruth, we can see God working through them all. And in Gideon, we can see it too. When God is with us, we are capable of so much more. As we look forward and think about this new term, perhaps you're not feeling equipped or prepared for something at the moment. 
You might be nervous or scared about returning to school or work after the holidays. Possibly you're returning to something in September that you've not done in the last year. Maybe you're starting something brand new, like university or a new job, and you're feeling fearful. We can be reminded that even when we're scared, nervous or uncertain that God is with us. Gideon was very scared at the beginning of the story. He felt that he was not strong enough or important enough to be used by God, but God had chosen him to do this task. And God has chosen you to be where you are, and he will use you, mighty warrior. <laughs>